Hi guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. In this video, we will be learning the fastest way to create forms in React. The surprising thing is, you don't have to write too much of code, it's all auto-generated. For reference, you can also find the code link to the GitHub repository down below if needed. So let's get started. So I have the bare bones of uh, Re Create React app ready for us. Uh, so uh, for this quick demo, I'll be using React Hook Forms. So uh, React Hook Forms is a really performant and flexible way um, uh, to managing the input fields with forms inside React. So uh, it's uh, one of the best libraries out there. And you can also see a uh, uh, library code comparison between Formic React Hook Forms and Redux Forms. And um, looking at their uh, website and documentation, it looks like uh, it's a really promising library to implement. So uh, there are a lot of benefits like uh, it has uh, a, like rendering, uh, re-renderings, uh, already a less number of re-renderings, whereas uh, Formic and Redux form re-renders more than 30 plus as per their website. And they also have uh, faster uh, mounting time, uh, which is stated to be 800 millisecond. So uh, for this one, we will uh, make the use of uh, this particular library right here. For starting with the forms, uh, with React Hook forms, you can write as um, uh, like uh, go through your doc their documentation and uh, write it from scratch. But uh, the good thing is that they have provided us with uh, something called Form Builder. So we can uh, you can get the Form Builder inside the tools. Uh, near to this tools and carrot we have a form builder and you can also access it from um, down here which is uh, right here edit example watch errors and test so uh, we will click on the form builder and after clicking on the form builder you can see uh, this particular interface so uh, this particular interface is the interface for creating fields so we can uh, keep creating fields as per our necessary. So uh, let's create our fields uh, that uh, we need uh, for our forms inside React. So uh, the number of fields, let's uh, set a number of fields uh, to be limited for now because it's just for the demo purpose uh, to get the fastest uh, form builder um, uh, in, in inside of React without writing um, too much of code. So uh, for now, we will have, uh, let's suppose, four fields uh, where a first field would be full name and it would be a text and it should have some validation. It is required and uh, the max would be, uh, uh, we don't uh, write any here uh, and the minimum value uh, can be uh, around five because we are asking for a full name and the maximum length let's not keep maximum length and the pattern also let's not uh, keep any pattern uh, after creating on that one we can see the layout and we have a full name here and also we have a full name here as well so uh, what we can do here is we can copy this code uh, if we want it so uh, for now let's also create another field which is email and it's uh, text, of course, and so validation, yeah. And it's a required field, and uh, the max and mean, uh, let's leave it empty, and then max length also, let's leave it empty. But uh, for the pattern, uh, what I'd like to uh, place here is, I would like to bring on some uh, regex, that uh, I have currently uh, created and that particular regex uh, represents it's a, a valid email address or not right here so it had the add rate and all the necessary uh, regex required for the validation of email so let's press on uh, the create and as you can see here we have the full name and email right and the pattern is regex right here and we also have uh, all of these generated. So uh, the next thing would be mobile number. And it's a uh, number. 
and it's required. And uh, let's say uh, let's say maximum length of number would be nine. Uh, let's not keep uh, maximum length, but uh, inside minimum, let's keep ten because um, around um, here we have minimum uh, number of ten, which is mobile number. So pattern would be just left empty. Uh, for now, let's hit on create. So we have full name, email, and mobile number. The last thing that we will create is uh, like uh, let's say it would be uh, gender, and the gender is uh, like a radio buttons. So we will click on radio, and options are uh, mail, right? And then we can also create uh, edit this one. Mail is required. I think let's not hit on update. And then other one would be. Now uh, I figured out what was the problem. So inside gender we can uh, write is uh, we have uh, this uh, video and inside here uh, what it tells is um, the options need to separate by colon. So uh, for this one uh, me, we can write male and female and uh, prefer not to see. So I think uh, these are required as well and as you can see that uh, our uh, code has been generated with some uh, basic validation that we created uh, which is uh, some regex pattern and uh, required true max length and these kind of validation. So let's um, take a step further let's copy this one uh, and which says our code has been copied let's go uh, to our code. And inside here, what we can do here is we can paste that particular code that we copied from. Uh, so uh, export default. So it comes with uh, the app. So uh, what we can do here is we can paste it right here. So I think um, it needs the class of app. So uh, let's paste the class of app over there. And then let's cut this code and paste it over here. Let's format it and then I think uh, we are uh, pretty much okay uh, for now. Uh, I think um, we also need to add a React Hood form. So we will add yarn add React Hood form as well. And then meanwhile, we can also start our uh, local host as well. Okay, uh, so it uh, should not be we have to export here and then I think this needs a bit of starting as well so uh, for the starting I think I will uh, behind the scene I will add some tiles so I have already added some basic styling to our application so uh, I created some of uh, the uh, uh, label tags that it didn't provide and I also added uh, some of the error um, uh, cases uh, to be addressed as well and uh, some of the styles uh, I have written in apps and CSS and let's take a look at the form um, uh, at default we are like control logging the errors for now let's comment this one and save this one and if we refresh we don't have any errors but if we uh, submit this one then we can see the list of errors right so here we can write our name and then here we can write um, or select mail and hit on submit and you can see uh, that our um, object uh, that we need to uh, hit on our uh, server remote server is printed in the console we have the full name email mobile number gender and success submit which is now this particular string that we've uh, like printed printed out in the console.log. Uh, this should be successful. Okay, 
So I think um, we are pretty much done uh, with our uh, basic and fastest way to create uh, forms inside React with the React hook forms. So um, uh, if you want to just to play around with it, uh, then we, you can also uh, have uh, like function executing uh, down here. Uh, like you can uh, hit on some uh, method, uh, some uh, some method which is uh, a post request inside here. Uh, if we have um, uh, on summit successfully called, if not, uh, if that's not the case, then obviously it printed uh, it prints out uh, the error as well, which is um, right here. So uh, which is still working fine. Uh, yeah. And so I think uh, you guys uh, learned something new about. Uh, the fastest way that we can create forms inside react. Thank you for uh, so much for watching my videos If you guys want to learn more about design and development uh, Please like share and subscribe with a click down below. I'll be trying to make more better videos like this. See you in the next one guys